Hi everyone, I'm Carol Ann, your fitness expert from Tampa, Florida. And here are some tips on how you can perform push-ups using a medicine ball and dumbbells. First of all, push-ups are great to develop your chest, your pectoral muscles, and your triceps. When you're performing push-ups, you want to make sure that your abdominals are nice and tight and that you're not sagging in your lower back and your rear end is not sticking way up in the air. You want to keep your body nice and tight. When you lower down in a push-up position, you want to make sure that your elbows are at 90 degrees and then push straight back up. When you push up, try not to lock out your elbows. In order to breathe properly in push-ups, you're inhaling as you lower your body down to the mat and exhale when you push away from the mat. Now there's a couple of variations that you can do. First of all, you can work with the dumbbells and you'll securely take your hands and wrap them around the dumbbells and keep your wrists straight. You can perform the push-ups on your knees or to make it more challenging, you can perform those push-ups while being on your toes and off your knees. So those are a couple of tips with the dumbbells. With the medicine ball, you can take one hand on top of the medicine ball as the other hand is resting on the floor. Lower down close to the, to the mat and then push away. So you can perform the same amount of reps using one hand on top of the medicine ball while the other hand is on the floor and then switch sides and perform a specific amount of reps. Another variation can, you can use with the medicine ball is that you can toss the medicine ball from hand to hand in between your push-ups. So you're alternating your hand on top of the medicine ball as you perform the push-ups. You can perform these push-ups on your knees or on your toes. So these are great tips that you can follow when you're doing push-ups using the medicine ball and the dumbbells. I'm Carol Ann, your fitness expert from Tampa, Florida.